Hey guys, it's uh, me, Johnny Kinsvater, back with uh, yet another video with um, even more tragic news. Um, as I had touched on in my last video, um, it had not been confirmed yet, but they were reporting that uh, things did not look good for um, Tom Petty, and uh, things did end up going that way late last night. It was confirmed that the Rock and Roll legend, um, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, had uh, passed away at the age of 66. And uh, so I just kind of want to talk about that. I'm I'm gonna write up, I'm gonna write it up too, and so you guys can read my thoughts there. But I figure I'd go ahead and make a quick little video um, here. Uh, sorry again for my first two official videos, I guess, being about fucked up shit. But it is, and throughout the past couple days, it's been really hard for the music uh, community. Of course, we had the uh, terrible tragedy in Las Vegas, and now we have this. And uh, Truly, truly the death of an icon. Uh, Tom Petty was 66 years old. Uh, we're hearing that um, apparently on Sunday night, um, his wife had found him uh, unresponsive, uh, was able to get him breathing through CPR. Uh, this is all coming from reports, so it's all uh, speculative. But um, uh, was able to get him breathing, called an the ambulance. They were able to get a pulse, and so they rushed him to the hospital. And uh, But there uh, they had found out they had gone into full cardiac arrest, and that... Uh, he had zero, pretty close to zero brain activity. They had him on life support. Um, it was reported yesterday, uh, kind of early on, pretty close to the same time they reported about this whole cardiac arrest thing was the fact that his family had decided to um, pull him off life support. It was then um, it was then reported a little bit later that he had passed away um, by CBS News um, referencing the LAPD. That was quickly retracted. The LAPD said they have no information on this case or anything like that. And uh, CBS retracted their report, but not before um, bigger news sites like Rolling Stone and CB, uh, uh, CBS and NBC. Uh, bigger news that all had already started to run with the fact that he had passed away, but that was disputed by his daughter um, calling out certain... Um, uh, websites and things like that for uh, jumping the gun but uh, like I said he did end up uh, passing away last night at 66 years old they released a statement uh, last night saying that he went peacefully he was surrounded by his friends his family um, and his bandmates and you know this is this is a hit for uh, the music community as much as some of the other um, super talented and famous musicians that have passed away this year and last year and the years before uh, truly was an icon I and mean, the man had been in it since you know the 60s broke it big in the 70s uh, whether we're talking about mud crutch and then on with Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers some of the the best songs of all time in my opinion I won't back down uh, for free fallen um, I didn't have the chance to see Tom Petty actually he just wrapped up uh, like last week I think um, he wrapped up the 40th anniversary uh, tour for Tom Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers that made it they played a couple shows at Red Rocks Joe Walsh I really wanted to go to but obviously they sold out like that so I didn't have a chance to get tickets so uh, Tom Petty was not one I was able to check off my bucket list and I I'll, I will forever regret that um, we'll see where they go from here uh, they were scheduled to play a couple shows in the coming weeks in New York, I believe. That's obviously probably not going to happen, but we'll see what the remaining uh, musicians in the Heartbreakers decide to do. Uh, like I said, yeah, Tom Petty, a 2002 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee, legendary, iconic musician, um, dead at 66, and... Um, details are still coming in about this but I'll try and post more if you guys like the Facebook page I'll try and post more as um, we kind of learn more stuff I know this has been a past the past five years have been pretty rough for Tom Petty there's actually reports of his death um, as far back as like four or five years ago they reported that he died and he hadn't and, you know then he came back and did the big tour last year and he'd hinted last year that uh, that would be or this year actually he had hinted that this would be his final tour uh, one of his final tours anyways, and it did in fact end up being so, um, but we are so grateful for the legacy that he left behind, so much talent and music that he gave to us over the years, 66, such a young age, um, yeah, it, it, it's tragic, and you know, on top of the other news that's coming out this week in the music world, it's just not a good time for us, past, and the, the past two years have just been tough with iconic, legendary musicians passing away, and uh, here's another one. Here's to here's to Tom Petty. May he rest in peace.
All right, that's pretty much all, all, all I have to say on Mr. Petty at the moment. Um, you know, one of my favorites of all time. A couple years ago, I got a Mud Crutch album at Record Store Day. Hadn't listened to it yet, so listened to it last night because I figured now's better time than ever. And yeah, I know I said I was wrapping it up, but I keep thinking of things to say. You know, he was it, you know, from Free Fallen, you know, the classic hit songs, Refugee, to even his most latest album, Hypnotic Eye was one of the best albums ever start to finish so true truly a, a great loss that we're all suffering but we'll con continue to celebrate celebrate and remember him for years to come all right so that's all for this video uh not gonna do any plugs here either because i hate doing shit like that I'm trying to help myself with uh tragic shit like this so i'm just gonna end it here but yeah next time there's something to talk about um check back here and i'll be talking about it all right thanks bye